Hello guys, so here and welcome to Shexel tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at the ISO 14001 gap analysis tool. So as the name connotes, this is a unique tool for identifying gaps in the current environmental management system against the ISO 14001 standard in order to implement improvement actions to ensure that your management system measures up to the ISO standard. Now this is an important requirement if you are looking to get your management system certified to the ISO standard. So this template has been designed to, to make it very easy for users in their journey for um, achieving ISO certification. So without further ado, let's get straight into the features. Like most of our templates, we have the table of content that will help users for easy navigation. This is part of the ergonomic features of the tool so that users can simply click here to any page that they want. Now there's the approved list, which is a list of parameters for root causes, action priority and action status. Now regarding the root causes, users have the option to add to the list. All right. Now we have the scoring criteria. This tool is using the yes and no responses or yes and no scoring criteria, where yes indicates the presence of the clause requirements in the management system being implemented, which can be verified by an available documented information or an established process, whereas no indicates that the clause requirement has not been implemented and cannot be verified by any available documented information or established process. Now mind that is slightly different from the ISO 14001 auditing tool. And as we know, auditing tool is seeking to ensure or to ascertain the level of compliance to the ISO standard. Hence, the scoring criteria is always based on compliance, major or minor non-conformance and opportunity for improvement. All right, now in the GAP analysis tool, this is different. We are looking to ascertain the presence or absence of the clause requirements as supported by an available documented information or an established process. Now we have the main GAP analysis checklist and as you can see, this shares the same similarity with um, the, first, the auditing tool, but the only difference has to do with the Responses. All right. So here we are looking at this, the clauses, the sub clause, and the various questions that make up the the clauses, and the responses that has to be provided in terms of yes or no response. And as you provide the responses, this section get calculated for you automatically, where you're able to ascertain the scores, the gaps, and then the percentage level of implementation. All right. Now, as you provide these responses. They get transferred on the GAP analysis summary report, and this is basically the reports that are coming from the GAP analysis checklist. All right, so as you provide those responses, this section gets populated automatically. You have no business here. This section has been password protected as it contains a lot of formulas, and this is actually the source data for the dashboard. All right, now as you provide your yes and no responses, all the no responses that are provided in the checklist are transferred automatically onto the implementation plan. So that users can actually, you know, provide the actions that are relevant to close those gaps, 
the person responsible, the target date, the, and the dates will be tracked automatically. And users have the option to provide a action priority in terms of high, medium, and low, and then the action status in terms of whether the action is open or has been closed. Now, as you provide all these responses and do your follow up, um, the next stage is to just go to the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is an interesting one as it gives all the insightful, you know, inside insightful details about the gap analysis. It's able to estimate um, the gap that have been identified in the system. All right, it's able to estimate the gaps that are identified in the management system and then the level of implementation of the standard requirements all right now if you've made entries or as you make your entries by providing the responses to the checklist all you need to do is just go to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all to update the the dashboard and all the reports within the workbook all right now um take notes that as i earlier mentioned we are looking at the gap Based on the number of gaps that we identified, the percentage level, we also look at the percentage uh, level of implementation of the clause, requ um, the clause requirements, and all the number of requ requirements that have been confirmed, present, are supported by documented information or established process. And then again, over here, we have the, the scores and then the, the gaps that are in the system, the levels of implementation for the various clauses. All right, so that's how what the dashboard does, very, very insightful. Now, these are the reports that we use for creating a dashboard. So you can actually use them as individual reports in your, you know, in any kind of report that you send out. So this section has to do with the level of implementation for the various clusters. This section has to do with the number of gaps. As again, the number of clusters requirements that have been implemented. Then again, we have the gap analysis findings in terms of this. The, um, the clause requirement have been implemented and then the, the gaps that exist. And then again, we have the various levels of implementation for the various sub clauses. And finally, we have the action status in, uh, in terms of action that have been open or that are open or and action that have been closed. All right, so this is actually coming from the implementation plan. If you scroll here, you notice we have two actions that are open and we have uh, five actions that are two actions that are closed and five actions that have been open. And that's what we have here, five actions that are open and two actions that have been closed. All right, so in terms of how to use this template, just take note that we've done the work for you. Um, everything is very, very simple to you. We've done the work for you. All you need to do is just provide your yes and no responses. All right, so let's assume that of all the responses um, to the questions are all in the affirmative. So. Let's make everything yes, indicating that there are no gaps in the management system. All right. Now, I've provided all these responses. Just take note that because there is no no response, automatically they get removed here, and you would have to now take your time and delete all these sections because these are manually entered. All right. Now, as you, we have updated the reports, we need to, or the checklist. We need to refresh or go to data tab and refresh all. And as you can see, it tells us that we've achieved a score of 100%, meaning that we've implemented the entire standard requirements or the clause requirements in our management system and there's no gap, all right? So that is how easy it is to use. And um, again, if you close, um, basically, there's no action because there's no gap in the management system. So that, that's how this template is all about. As you can see, it takes you to the next level when it comes to gap analysis, not just based on random, you know, assessment and checking of the standard requirements, if they are present or not, but it actually goes a, a step further to do the analysis and generate insightful reports on a dashboard. All right, so if you're interested in this template, all you need to do is visit us on www.shexcel.com. This is our website. And scroll to the middle. you find the ISO 14001 gap analysis tool. Now, you click on it. It's going to open the next page, which is the product page. And that is where you would actually take a deep dive into the product by scrolling, you know, through the pictures because we have all the pictures displayed right here as you can see you can actually read a lot more text about the product and then if you're interested you click on the download button now the download button will take us to the download page all right and that is exactly where you can actually make the purchase all right so 
the video that I just created will be will be actually displayed here for you to review further and then you can make a purchase and check out. So that's it guys. Thank you all for your attention and see you again soon in another video. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.